In this video, we will discuss discrete and random continuous variables. There are two kinds of random variables. A discrete random variable can take on only certain fair fix, certain fixed values. I'm not sure where that word fair came from. For example, the number of heads in five fair tosses, that's where the fair came from, of a fair coin can only be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. A continuous random variable can take on any real number value over a range. For example, the diameter of a mature camellia blossom may be any real number in a range of about 5 to 25 centimeters. The distributions discussed in this section are theoretical, based on theoretical probabilities. Here we show the theoretical probability distribution for the, the, for the discrete random variable number of heads when five fair coins are tossed, along with the corresponding histogram. Here are the, pro, the uh, numbers of heads and the probabilities associated. And here is the histogram. And we can see that this histogram is symmetric about the center of value and goes from fairly low at either end to pretty high in the middle. And it's symmetric, so it's the same on both sides. In the histogram, each rectangle is one unit wide. So the area of the rectangle is equal to the probability of the corresponding number of heads. The graph has six distinct rectangles because the number of heads is a discrete variable with six possible values. The sum of the areas of the rectangles is exactly one square unit. The probability distribution for the diameter of camellia blossoms can't be grouped or graphed the same way because the variable is continuous. Rather than being constructed of adjacent rectangles, the graph is a continuous bell-shaped curve. And here is that bell-shaped curve. It is symmetric, even though my artistic talents do not make it exactly symmetric. It looks pretty much symmetrical. Um, the vertical scale on the graph shows probability density, the probability per unit along the horizontal axis. The curve is called a normal curve. 